on the west coast, today was a day for remembrance. Locals dressed in the clothes and colours of mourning. I had a gentleman in this morning actually he'd, uh, for a pair of black trousers and he bought his own long black tie in and um, said, look, I can't tie a tie when you tie it for me. As people boarded the free shuttle bus to the racecourse, thoughts were with those suffering loss. More coasters arrived on a special train from Christchurch, including the family of one of the miners. And that's the boy that our yes. grandson we lost. Yeah, that one there. And Daniel, his brother, walked out. So, <laughs> sad day for you. My yes. goodness. My goodness, what a time. Thank you very much. What a time. As the clock struck two, the town stopped, and so did the country. Silence also opened the service in Greymouth. But then it was time for songs and speeches to express the magnitude of loss at the Pike River coal mine. 29 men earning a living, 29 men with plans and futures, 29 men with hobbies, sports, mates and families, 29 men lost their lives and 29 families lost their men. Mayor Tony Cockshorn gave only his second formal speech. You have a way to go on this long and winding road, but I promise as you walk, we will match you stride for stride. Your West Coast family is standing by your side. MPs, the Australian Energy Minister and the Governor-General were all present. So too, 29 tables to represent each of the miners. And even if many of us know them only as names and faces and stories, their death touched our lives and we will remember them. At the close of the service, dignitaries and family members placed ferns on each of the tables. A final gesture at the end of a day for saying goodbye. John Hutchison, 3 News.